this shit tonight. You gotta see that shit here. We gotta go into it. I'm just there on the tip of the iceberg. And if I hide something, I'm gonna fuck up now. Allow me to pull this shit off. We might be able to do this shit tonight. Now, I know you're standing up. Look, y'all motherfuckers don't need to leave. But I'm telling you, you ain't gonna hear this shit from nobody else. I don't give a damn who out there motherfuckers do it. Tell them do they know the missus of place. No, no, ain't none of them teaching. Marathon ain't teaching. Rap only ain't teaching. You see what I'm saying? None of them motherfuckers teaching. No, no, I, I don't get it wrong. The power of evil is good. This shit is totally different what you think. See, listen. I've been talking about the Satan and all the words and shit, but I was applying it to the good God. And saying no Satan is actually a good God. No. The motherfucker is evil as it say. But evil is only relative to what you're thinking about. Now, I got to break I got to go into this shit and tell you what the motherfucker evil is. Evil is good. Good is not evil because good don't do shit for your motherfucking ass to keep you stagnant. It's energy. Energy. Look here, goddammit, you got a building before you. And you need to tear that building down. You can't spray that building away. You got to drop a bomb on that bitch. And either the big bomb or what they got that new shit called explosion. Right? We talk about energy. Evil is your new nature. But it's not the type of evil that you think it is it's relative to the physical world. That's the white man. You understand what I'm coming from? We got to back all this stuff. So evil is good. Hate is good. This is a new theology. You ain't gonna hear this shit from nobody else. So y'all don't need to leave this night. I'm telling you. I came into my motherfucking I've been waiting on this shit about five years. And I'm telling you. But you gotta ask your spirit. You got to what you got to do is you got to deprogram yourself from all fundamentalism. Okay? You say, well, Allah is the best motherfucking Noah. But you fucking Allah. The arm, the leg, the head, the the the, the, the leg, the arm, and the head. So if you're the best folks know, that means you know a new theology, not the motherfucking shit the man is following. You God now. Now you gotta become God now. And your function is to damn kill the world. But you can't kill the world praying. You gotta have a certain destructive energy. It's a new theology. I'm, I'm, I'm dead on the money. Now I got over a hundred fucking videos out. And you know I can go wrong. And I can damn back up what I do. You see what I'm saying? I ain't damn too on horn, but I'm telling you, I got this shit now. And I ain't, I've always been a humble person, but for the first time in my life, I got this shit. I got it. I knew it was coming, but when them planets lined up, I went to a new motherfucking level. If it started coming in August, I said, I got this shit and it started coming. Now, anybody who has heard my stuff, you know that I've been a transformation from when I started out. And I started out pumping then. But now it's almost like in a whole other dimension of what I'm saying. And I'm not bragging anything. I'm trying to tell you a transformation. Because I didn't, I, I didn't do it by getting a group of people having a problem. I got this shit with cold, hard, cold, lights get cut off, hungry, car breaking down, motor riding. I got this shit on the grassroots level, you understand, with a cosmic mind. So I'm not... I'm not bragging on this shit. I'm telling you, I got this shit tonight. So y'all gotta stick around and hear this shit because it's some badass shit. It's a whole new transformation. I'm saying it's a confidence. Now, listen to this again. You gotta listen. They just told you to keep. That, that don't sound like faith. Listen. It says, now remember, this is the excellent, this is him hotel. This is the villa of the damn step period before the fucking first pyramid. But then again, that's bullshit, because the first pyramid was built in Atlantis. But M. Hotep wasn't no slow league motherfucker. You need to learn about him. That's the father of Leonard, who went to the God realm. He's talking to the who? After this. Now look at this. Listen to what this shit says. Now the creator has control in the place that is between heaven and earth. If something is between that, that means that ain't the original motherfucker. He just created down this shit here. That the motherfucker he don't even be fucking with. Because he created a prison house and got you trapped in the shit. We're going to go through the history of this thing tonight. Because some shit slipped out of here in the African Civil Movement. And there's a whole body of this nobody fucking with. Because they thought it was white. But I'm going to break up the history of this thing. Y'all stick to this. It's going to be 
Toyota. Look. 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 Platonus Zeus is the Lord over the earth and the sea. Well, the scripture says Jesus is God. Jesus is God. He is. He's God. And God is the Lord. That word actually in actuality is a blonde hair, blue eyed woman. We use Nephilim or Rish. You know what I'm saying? We didn't use the word God. That's a new creation. But look. But that's what God up in here just, just to show you the use of that word. But listen, he is over the earth to see, but he does not possess the nourishment for all those living. You are immortal, but you live on a mortal plane now because you live in a physical body. Listen, creature, for it is at the core that bears the fruit, the color fruit of these forces. is always powerful in a circle. Of the earth. You that shit? Wait a goddamn minute. It says that the real power, the nourishment that bears the fruit, and the real power of the black man and black woman is not between heaven and earth. It, they say, well, but it's at the core, in a circle. But where in a circle? In a circle of the goddamn earth. The core of the motherfucking earth is what you've been calling the goddamn devil. Think about your shit. You hear that shit? Just about it. This is great shit here now. See, you can understand why the Christians are telling you to rebel against Satan. No, you better rebel against God. Because that motherfucker that you call God is the damn embodiment of evil in our enemy. Motherfucker gonna keep you down here all these damn years praying to him, and your damn condition get worse. I don't give a damn how much money you got out of his damn server. Your people, I am my people, and my people is see. My people in concentration camps, my people running for goddamn quarter, my people on motherfucking damn old English 800. I ain't saying not to drink this shit. Now you can drink the liquor and everything. Just drink some motherfucking Budweiser, because old English 800 is shit. They pee in that. Remember what they use? You and they in the Mark, listen, listen to this. These forces, are, the forces that are from the fruit, are always powerful in the circle of the earth. The circle of the earth, the core of the circle of the earth is under the damn earth. Don't worry, we're going to get to it. It's going to get deep. Jesus is real about to say how deep it's going to go tonight. We got to go straight to Satan. That's Satan's a bitch. <laughs> Man, if the damn Christian came up in here, they swear out I'm a motherfucker to see it And y'all gonna be cutting up children tonight. Just to hit just to hear that word, you know. Where what did this mother get me into? Should you call on God? I wanna know where that motherfucker gets you. Uh, the cord bears the fruit, which is in the circle of the earth, but the but the uh but of the others are always are always from him who is. So they're saying that the other powers are always from him who is, which is Zeus. In here, they got the same translation, but they say that whom we call Jupiter occupies the space between the heaven and the earth. It is Jupiter Plutonus that rules over the earth and the sea, but it is he who he do who, but it is he, but he, but see, this, see, this is the new translation. The guy got a little disease. This shit say he does not have the nourishment for all of all the things. This say he, he nourishes all of all the things, uh, uh, you know, uh, and see, then I flip the script, you see. That's how they flip the damn script. Now, what my point is, it has flipped the damn script in damn 92, instead of the damn 19, damn 45. They did the shit in the Quran. The Quran says, Our God is the God of Sirius, who created both male and female from one single ejaculated seed. You see what I'm saying? But it also said that the motherfuckers went well under the earth. Didn't say that shit. 
That's who that is. Okay, all right. So you, you got it back. Okay, now, let's go on. So we're going to go into this in a few doggone minutes. We're going to go into this in a few minutes. It says, it says, that, let me see if I got the page on this thing. It says, that in the late days, white folks even on a morning, you say this morning, you crack a land in that land. He said, I'm telling you that the Jesus that you call is coming is going to be more like the devil. Because to, to, to use that word, or let's just say the Christ who is coming is going to be more of what you think the devil than what you think of as Jesus. Now, than what you think of as Jesus. Now, let me explain something to you right now. The Bible tells you what it is. In Revelation, it says that, and even the history, the mystery of the Antichrist, they say the Antichrist will come and he will sweep one third of the heaven up under his influence. You ever heard that before? Okay, now let's listen to this. Let's see who the fuck the Antichrist is. The esoteric Antichrist is Christ, the word angels means nothing. We just triple back to the black Christ. That's another thing. The one that the dog owns. Bible is giving you a clue, but it's also trying to trap the Antichrist. So let me explain what it is. Let's just deal with the physical thing on how you think. It says that the Antichrist will come and he will sweep one third of the heavens under his influence, and everybody will be worshiping him. Not the Antichrist, but the false Messiah. That's what it was. Let me get that right. Everybody will be worshiping the false Messiah. That's what it was. That's what I'm getting from. The false society will come and will sweep one third of the heavens under his influence, and everybody will be worshiping the false society and deceive him to be the Messiah. You heard this before, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, let's listen to this. Okay. Now we are going to be our end of year 2000. So now we can look at hindsight. Who rules now in the damn world? What does most motherfuckers worship? Jesus, right? Talk now. If the Bible is true, if we are in the end times, so you can say 1930s, you said we can't make that statement now, because the world ain't over now. But now we can look in hindsight, because we don't want to. Our ancient history, Armalized Muhammad came, the Wichita Ali came, the African Central Unity came, you even got Rabboni came, you got B, you got Dawood, you got a whole bunch of people. Motherfuckers ain't listening. They still the master of the people that worship who? Jesus. You even got, got them, they got new Arabs for Jesus now, and Jews for Jesus. You know the Africans have been taken over there, but now they got they got Arabs for Jesus now and Jews for Jesus now. So Jesus is dominant. Now, let me show you something here. Sometimes dominant don't necessarily mean how many people, although they got more Muslims in the world. It don't mean how many people worship them. The dominant also means what is the ruling power into. And what is the phenomenon? Jesus is reaching more motherfucking people now. You see, so the flavor, if they say that it will sweep one half of the heavens over, that can't be hollered. It can't be Satan. Because nobody don't worry about it. Did you hear that shit? It can't be Satan. Because nobody don't worry about Satan. The false Messiah has got to be Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody worry about Jesus. <laughs> Jesus don't do shit for them, but they still worship him. Now, that ain't a damn uh, a fucking tyrannical brainwashing demon. I never, they say, well, you know, he, he deceives people. They say that the great Satan deceives people. Well, you don't worship Satan, you worship Jesus, and that's a deceiver. Think about it. Not only is this a deceiver, the world is taking over through what? Christianity. Right? Okay? And then not only did it take over Christianity, the, the land that it took over, they started worshiping what? Jesus. Fucking nigga in the equator, black at a thousand midnight, talking about Jesus. He ain't talking about no black people. He talking about a cracker. See what I'm saying? Fucking Chinese talking about Jesus. 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 Can you believe that shit? It's been rational for a motherfucker from Asia, Chinese man. Talking about Jesus, but then I'm asking him talking about Jesus. That don't make no sense. But all the other people that had their own faith, but Jesus was all one. Nobody into that shit. 